What is going on, my YouTube friends and all my Patreon friends? What's up, my friend Fursana? How you living? How you living? Don't be sending me. I, like, I, I'm not saying it from my end. I'm saying I'm hoping you're not waking up at 4.40 in the morning sending me requests. <laughs> I hope that was my time. Because um, that's real early. That's real early. I appreciate this, though. I appreciate all the love and support, as per usual. As per usual. The uh, You sent me a song a little while ago. Or I listened to it a little while ago. I think it was, I think it was a, a set. Oh, I'm having a hard time with it. it. Had a you you were saying that you missed the sounding or the music sounds from the era that you were raised in, and that just like it was just such a moment for me just sitting there taking it all in. I loved it. I loved it. I remember the feeling. I remember the feeling. I don't remember the set though. Um. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh. So switch. There'll never be. There'll never be. 1978. Don Kirshner's rock concert. I love that. That's <laughs> like the the graphic. <laughs> Let me pull this up. I'm really looking forward to this. I can't I can't say enough how much I appreciate the longevity of the support you've given me. Come on now. I'm just like it's like a single person reaction here. What's up everyone else? What's up everyone? I hope you appreciate the the video. Uh like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna try to earn it here over the next probably about 10 minutes. And let's do this. <laughs> let's watch this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vocals. intro man we got like a whole bunch of singing that guitar was beautiful it's a gibson i want to say it's an es335 but it might be called something else in 1978 but i'm pretty sure it's a semi hollow body so they actually like pull like you know hollowed out or placed the top on top of a, a semi hollow body and it kind of gives it like not quite an acoustic feel but kind of you play it out loud and it's louder than like say my guitars that are like solids um or chambered um they're beautiful like well, um, I, I regret so much never having one of these. They're just such nice guitars with the the nice like trim on it too, the cream trim on that. Stunning guitar. Uh, all the vocals though, man. The vocals are what's really making this and this like groove here too. <laughs> So many vocalists. There's so many vocalists. I want to catch that double again. So um, when Buddy's singing the like the high lead part and he goes into his head voice or his falsetto, um, it sounds like there's two people singing, and it could be one of two things. So the sound guy that I learned from, he was coming up in the late '70s, early '80s, mid to late '70s, I believe, um, and so he would put a 30 millisecond delay match to the vocal so you like you basically put the parallel and it sounds like it's two voices now but when you're singing in your head voice usually it's a little quieter than like when you're belting singing loud and stuff like that so you need something to add a little more texture to it and especially when you have such a big band and now you're singing in your head voice it just kind of it, it separates the two so you have to have clever ways of getting the vocal to be in like over top of the mix still it carries in those situations and a doubler would be one especially for the time and i think that's what's going on you can hear it it could be another singer like just actually singing in unison with them too um just because there's so many vocalists but i think it's a doubler i think it's an analog doubler this part Wow, 
great mind. Ah, even the keyboard player. Ah, uh, keyboard player and drummer, man. They're doing the choreo. Come on now. Come on now. kind of has like kind of a hollow sound to it like so he flipped the pickup selector up to the neck pickup which just naturally will have like a darker kind of tone to it but the guitar itself it sounds like it has like a hollow resonance to it it's neat it's kind of like kind of acoustic -y, not quite though very like it was a very like kind of bluesy feeling lead um the solo itself but the guitar itself the tone itself kind of has this hollow feel to it right i like it i like it beautiful That guitar again. Come over here and let me whisper, let me whisper something in your ear. Oh, say, say something so good to you. You, you love me. Always wanted to hear. So real. I know you won't regret it. Oh my goodness. Uh, va, va, na, na, na. That high note, man, that was such a nice chord. And they're getting into this smooth dancing again. This is such a cool performance. This is such a great performance, man. You know what I'm seeing a lot of? I'm seeing a lot of like Bruno choreo and like a lot of these superstar choreo from, that we have like done reactions and breakdowns from from like today. I see a lot of that in this, man. Even like in the drumming. Like if you watch um, Eric Hernandez in any of the Silk Sonic videos, man, he looks like this, just like chill. He's kind of like getting into the choreo a little, but just like very chill, man, very relaxed. I love it. I just love it. I think it's, uh, I, I, I might be wrong on the ES-335, man. The video quality might have got me beat here. It might be um, Lucille, Lucille, the BB King guitar. I got, I said the wrong guitar. I said Jimmy Page's guitar the other day, trying to get um, BB King's guitar. But it has like a whole bunch of pickup selectors on it and a bunch of different sounds. So it might not be as hollow body as I was saying, but it might have different tones to it that could recreate those. I don't really know what, I, I've I've had like a, a reissued one of those guitars in my hands, the BB King guitar in my hands, but I don't remember what each selector did. I've even seen BB King live, um, rest in peace when he was still alive. And um, I don't know what they all do, but if that, like that very well could be the case too. So someone fact check me on that before you, I don't know if you relay the information I say on here. <laughs> Beautiful guitar, nonetheless. <laughs> Man, 
never be. Come on now, come on now. Yeah, man. The Fado's interesting too. I wonder if they actually faded out. I wonder if they actually faded out or not. That's interesting. What a performance though. Like, what entertainment. I think we miss a lot of that, man. Like, I don't want to, like, undercut or underscore any of the, like, superstars that we follow on the channel. But as a major majority, man, we don't have a lot of that in music today. Like, it's groovy. There's, like, a lot going on. But it had so much... Like it was so tight and that bass and that drummer and that key section was just walking everywhere. Guitar player noodling in and out. I really don't know what the guitar was, man. It, it could have been like a custom setup, 335 or 336, wherever they are. Um, it did have the F holes in it, so it must've been at least semi hollow. I'm not too sure, man. This is really cool. This is really cool. We should go down, we should do like a whole 70s thing. I would totally be down for that. That's all the music I listen to. 70s, early 80s, come on now, come on now. I appreciate this. Much love all around for Sana. I appreciate the request as per, as per usual. My friends, if you've made it this far, give me the thumbs up, man. I know you I know you like this video. If you've made it this far, I know you enjoyed it. I, and I would appreciate, I would enjoy a thumbs up. Uh, come check us out on Patreon as well. Send me your requests, get your shout outs. Have a great evening. <laughs>